Tim Lurch and I wanted to show uh, this guitar off to my Facebook and YouTube friends and followers. Uh, this is a guitar that was made by Fender and I always like when I discover these oddball things. Uh, a couple of, quite a few years ago I discovered a 27 inch long uh, Fender Telecaster that they called a subsonic and uh, I played it for a while and made a few videos with it and ultimately ended up letting it go to somebody who wanted a baritone guitar and it was very good. I tuned it down. Um, as you, many of you know, I tend to tune my Telecasters down a step or two or half step or a whole step or even a minor third. But um, I got a, a, a bug in my head to uh, tune a guitar up. And I tried tuning a regular Telecaster up and I got one that would be going to G sharp and then of course the string broke and I made a few videos, uh, Surfer Girl and, um, and Angel Eyes with that guitar. But then I found out that this guitar is a, uh, made by Fender. Uh, it says Fender Telecaster on the, the headstock, but it's actually a 24 inch scale and the body is slightly smaller, so it looks a little bit tiny, right? Um, and I tuned it up to A. So I tuned it up like as if it's capoed at the fifth fret on a regular guitar. Uh, and you can see the um, pitch is quite uh, nice. It's kind of pingy and, and pretty up there. So the whole guitar is tuned up a fourth. Um, George Barnes, the great jazz guitar player, made a guitar that he called the F guitar that Guild made for him, and it was tuned like this too. He called it F because I think you think of the guitar normally being in C and then you tune it up a fourth, so it would be F. But it's great to get the uh, way up here. I just love this stuff. So neat. And the guitar itself is pretty good. I didn't do anything to it yet except to get this um, thing tuned up got a guild humbucker that comes stock in the neck. Now they don't make it anymore. I, apparently they only made a, a couple of hundred of them, but I just found this one on Reverb. I always seem to luck out with this kind of thing. And it was only, you know, 300 bucks or something. So uh, if you search one out, it might be a fun thing to have um, just in your arsenal, you know, like a little kind of almost like a mandolin type sound maybe, or electric mandolin. But I like it a lot. I'm gonna do some solo guitar, you know, song videos um, in the future, as soon as I kind of get it a set up a little bit more to my liking. It's, a, it's still a little bit, the strings are very tight. Uh, so here are the details. I put a set of 10 through uh, 46 on here. Um, and tuned it up a fourth, but the top string wouldn't make it. So I found out about uh, this guy in Germany, I think. He's got a company, a small string making company called Octave 4, the letter 4 plus. And he's on Facebook, Octave 4 plus, and he made, makes a high tension strings for what they call A4, which is the A that's up at the fifth fret normally of a high E string. And um, it tunes up, you got to tune it up in a special way. You got to go really slow and kind of turn, turn, turn it up a little bit at a time so that it can make it. Um, the, the 
weird thing is, he says the last six months, which I'm looking forward to, and I got a few from him, and I'll see what happens. but uh, I think it sounds pretty neat and the fact that you can stretch uh, to high pitch notes against lower chords is really quite helpful and interesting too. I've always liked the way that the Telecaster particularly with heavy strings sounds way up high. Uh, you know when you're a guy who sits around and plays guitar all day long you gotta think of some interesting things to do so you don't get bored or do the same old thing so uh, this is my uh, high-pitched guitar we call it uh, let's call it a uh, oh. that string's still stretching a little bit it's, I don't know what we can call it um, a high caster that's it. It's the high caster. Sort of a middle pickup sound and a back pickup sound, which I don't really use much, but... Let's see what the back pickup sounds like. Caster made by Fender. If you can find one, grab them, they're cool. <laughs> 